Their shapes are deceiving. Donuts, rings, even an eye. What are these shapes? They are the beautifully diverse forms of planetary nebulae. About 1,000 planetary nebulae have been cataloged, each unique like snowflakes. Early observers viewed the night sky and saw these fuzzy disk shapes. They thought these fuzzy shapes were planets, so they called them planetary nebulae. These beautiful nebulae, however, have nothing to do with planets. A planetary nebula is the gaseous nebula created by the death of a sun-like star. And when a sun-like star dies, it ejects its outer envelope, and the core of the star, which is really hot, makes the nebula glow. And this core will eventually become a white dwarf. This glowing hot central core is a huge shell of expanding gas. As astronomers studied planetary nebulae, it was found that these shapes were more complex than previously thought. Were the differences due to how the gas shell evolved during expansion, the angle from which they are viewed, or do each form in a different way? Intrigued with these complex differences, a team of astronomers used the Hubble Space Telescope to explore the Helix Nebula. The Helix makes a wonderful candidate to study because it's so close to Earth that astronomers can study its intricate details. Its apparent viewing size covers a patch of sky almost the size of a full moon. Ground-based observations had shown a spoke-like pattern in the helix. The Hubble showed finger-like shapes along the inner edge. Each has a bright head and a long tail. Astronomers named them cometary knots. The team was so fascinated with the helix and its many intricate shapes that they pulled together data from many observations made by a variety of telescopes to get a clearer picture. The Helix Nebula was interesting to us because it wasn't what we expected. What we expected was something much like my glasses here where we'd have a rim and then we'd have a disc of material like the glass lens I have. And then what was interesting to us was that the glass would be tipped with respect to the rim. So in the Helix Nebula, the disc is tipped with respect to this ring. Astronomers constructed a 3D model of the helix by combining the high resolution of the Hubble, ground-based images from Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory, and measurements from other telescopes that show the speed and direction in which the material is moving. In this model, we see two disks, an inner and outer, almost perpendicular to each other. Along the inner and outer disks are the cometary knots, or fingers, this enhanced image only leads to more riddles in the puzzle of how sun-like stars transform into beautiful sculptures in the sky known as planetary nebulae.